Haripo! Namaste! My name's Sita and I'm going to tell you a story. The story is about, guess who? It's about Krishna, our best friend, my best friend and your best friend. I've got a little Krishna doll here that I'm going to use to help me tell you the story. So the story I'm going to tell you first is this one here. It's Krishna defeating Aga, the terrible demon who had come just to harm Krishna and all of his friends. Krishna doesn't allow anybody to harm his devotees. So of course, he had an excellent plan to protect them. Long, long ago, in a place now called India, Krishna sported with his cowherd boyfriends just like an ordinary child. Here's a picture. Every morning in the village of Vrindavan, Krishna blew his buffalo horn to gather all of his friends together like this. beautiful horn woke everybody up and told them it's time to come and play in the forest with Krishna. There were thousands of cowherd boys who cared for thousands of calves. Each boy had a stick, a flute, a horn and a lunch bag. Each wore pearls, gems and gold ornaments. See how Krishna is beautifully decorated with all sorts of beautiful ornaments. And here he is walking into the forest with all of his friends. You can see them going all the way back up there. Come on, Krishna, let's go and play. It's playtime. Oh, and we're gonna work. We're gonna take all those little calves out to the forest and feed them all the fresh spring grasses on Godan Hill. So, here we go, here's the picture. Each decorated himself with flowers, leaves, twigs, peacock feathers and red clay. Have you ever decorated yourself with clay? It's so much fun. You know, tea lark is made from clay. It's made from the clay, the dust of Vrindavan. And we can pick it up, we wet it these days, and we put it on our heads. Shri Keshavaya Namaha. Tilak is so much fun. And when you choose colored tilak, you can put it all over your face beautifully, just like Radha and Krishna do, and all of their cowherd boyfriends. So always happy, the boys played many games. Sometimes Krishna went on ahead to view the beauty of the forest and his friends would say, I'm going to catch Krishna first. And the other friend would say, oh, no, you're not. I'm going to be the first one to catch Krishna. And they'd come running up to Krishna to try and be the first to touch him. Beautiful Krishna and his friends having so much fun. Sometimes they would play stealing each other's lunch. One boy would snatch another boy's lunch and pass it to a third boy. Here's the picture. Look, they're having fun playing, snatching, and grab and catch. <laughs> it was all in good fun and they loved it. Some of the boys caught the tails of the young monkeys hanging in the trees. Others climbed up the trees with them, making faces at them or jumping from branch to branch. What's the funniest face that you can make? I think I can make a pretty good monkey face. Some of them played their flutes or blew their bugles made of buffalo horn. 
and some sang with the music of the black bees. Some followed the swans and some ran after the shadows of the birds. Here they are playing their beautiful flutes in the forest and chasing the shadows of the birds. I hope you've got this book at home. It's so nice to read and the pictures are just so fun. Some of the boys sat with the cranes while others danced with the peacocks. Here they are dancing with the peacocks. Beautiful peacock dancing. And some imitated the sound of a cuckoo. splashed in the water and imitated the frogs. Some made funny sounds down the well like, hey you, hey you, it would echo back to them. One day, just like many others, Krishna and his friends, here they are, splashing in the water. They were enjoying themselves in the forest. A mighty and terrible demon named Aga was watching them. He hated to see them having so much fun. He decided to kill Krishna and all his friends. This demon was so terrible that even the demigods were scared of him. As the demon watched, he thought, this Krishna is the boy who killed my demon sister Putana and my brother Baka. Now I'll kill him and all of his friends and calves with the children dead all the people of Rindavan will die of grief. <laughs> That's what the demon thought. <gasps> oh no! Not Krishna! Not Krishna's friends! So the terrible demon Aga grew longer and longer until his snaky body was eight miles long. You can see him there, see? Spread all the way out into the mountains. And his mouth, what does it look like? It looks like a ginormous cave. When the boys first saw the demon, they thought he was a statue. They began to talk among themselves. Here's the picture of the demon. What is this? said one boy. It appears to be a huge animal. He looks like he wants to swallow all of us. <gasps> Just see, said another boy. Isn't it a big snake that has opened his mouth wide just to eat us? So they were a little bit suspicious. They didn't totally just think he was a mountain, but these boys are so brave and clever that they thought, you know what? We can explore that and Krishna will protect us. His breath is a fierce hot wind. And the fishy bad smell from his mouth is the smell of his intestines. But he cannot swallow us all at once. And even if he did, Krishna would kill him. And so, unafraid, they marched right into the mouth of the demon. <gasps> Aga waited for Krishna. Krishna felt very sad. His friends were lying in the belly of a great serpent. Hmm, how will I 
I save them? He wondered. Then Krishna entered Aga's mouth himself. All of the demigods hiding in the clouds were afraid. They cried out, Alas! Oh, alas! Here they are. Oh, they're so worried. Sweet Krishna is entering that stinky demon road pathway into the mouth of the great serpent. But once inside the demon's throat, Krishna grew bigger and bigger. The demon started choking on his breath. He thrashed around. He couldn't get any air. And choking, his spirit soul burst from a hole in the top of his head and waited in the sky. Krishna had expanded his form so much that he took up the demon's whole throat. <gasps> Only Krishna could perform such amazing feats. Now inside Arga's belly, Krishna found his friends unconscious. And with his loving glance, he brought them all back to life. Here they are, waking up. Oh, Krishna did save us. Krishna, Krishna, you're so brave and strong. Here they all are dancing out of the mouth of Agasura. When Krishna came out, the demon living entity came and merged with the effulgence of Krishna. Because even when Krishna conquers or vanquishes a demon, that demon is amazingly benefited. He's liberated and rescued from his suffering situation. The demigods were so happy. They showered flowers on Krishna. They danced and beat drums and sang songs. Jaya, Jaya! All glories to Krishna! The gigantic, fierce mouth of that demon stayed open for many days and very slowly it dried up. Do you know what happened? When that demon's body with its big open mouth and scales and spine and length dried up? Hmm. Bet it's something cool. <gasps> That's right! Krishna and his cowherd boyfriends used it as a playground because nothing's going to stop those boys from having fun. Here they are. Look at all the figures. They've got ropes around his mouth. They're climbing up his scales, all up and down his spine. What fun! Who wouldn't want to be a cowherd boy playing with Krishna? And that's one story of Krishna. And there's so many more to tell and share. I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to telling you more and if you want to get this beautiful book it can be purchased on Amazon. It's very special and if you would like to get one of these beautiful little Krishna dolls you can also buy these. I make them by hand. You can order them online from www.rememberkrishna.com Krishna, you are very sweet. Harry Paul. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a comment and tell me. And I would love to know what story about Krishna or Lord Chaitanya or his various incarnations you would love to hear next. And I will try and do that. So make sure you subscribe and I look forward to you seeing you soon. Hare Krishna, Hare Bowl.